when Jesus chose his apostles out of the many disciples, we have read from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, up to today, Friday, that Jesus is still doing good. Today, Jesus healed a man, the paralytic, that was brought by four men. Jesus did two things in the life of this paralytic. First of all, to tell the man that your sins are forgiven. And secondly, to tell him that rise up, pick up your stretcher and go home. These are two healings that Jesus did in the life of this man. He healed him spiritually, telling him, your sins are forgiven you. And he healed him physically by telling him, rise, pick up your stretcher and go home. Jesus has authority over everything, both spiritual and physical. So today he performed two healings, spiritually and physically. When we come to the Lord Jesus Christ, he heals us totally, both body and spirit. Once we come to him, asking of his healing power, the Lord Jesus Christ will do for us. For there is nothing impossible for God. And the Holy Scripture says, that is there anything too hard for me? Jesus, going around, is always doing good. When we come to him, he heals us. He forgives our sins. When we come to him, he heals us physically also. Today, our concentration will be also on the man who came there. He did not come on his own, but friends brought him. Friends, maybe he had done something good to them before. So when this man was paralyzed, they decided to bring him to Jesus. Which kind of friends do we make, my dear people of God? Is it the kind that will lead us to Jesus? Or the kind of friends that will tell us that there is no God? What kind of friends do we make? This paralytic or the man paralyzed had good friends who did, who, who did not take him anywhere but to Jesus. And the next question we ask ourselves, where do we take the sick people to when they are sick? When someone goes through some kind of difficulties in terms of sickness, ill health, where do we take the person to? Sometimes, because the person is frail, the person is in need of help, we decide for the person, and we take the person elsewhere. Elsewhere other than Jesus Christ. Elsewhere to go and consult the kind of sickness. Elsewhere to go and dig into the sickness that is affecting the man. The gospel reading of today is telling us that we have to make good friends. Good friends that will lead us to Jesus. The last thing we can learn from this is about the behavior of these four friends. They knew definitely that Jesus can heal this man. That was why they took the initiative to go to Jesus. Even when the crowd was very thick and they couldn't pass through the crowd, they made an opening. Jesus has given us such wisdom that when we are sick, there is a way for us to go. We must see the physicians. We must see the doctors. We must see those who help us to get good health. And Jesus is such a person. My dear people of God, God has given us the wisdom to be able to take good decisions in order to come to him. We pray that the examples of these four men will help us to come to Jesus ourselves and to bring others to Jesus. The first reading tells us that be careful be on your guard. Because the place of rest is at hand, but it may elude us as children of God if we are not careful, if we are not on our guard. With this, I want to chip in about our, the sickness that is a pandemic in our country and in the world today. 
My dear people of God, the first reading says, never lose God. If you lose God, especially this sickness, my dear people of God, you'll be affected. You have been given what we can do, safety measures. Let us obey them. Let us observe them. Because wisdom has been given to us to prevent this sickness. Though it is a pandemic, we can be safe out of this sickness. So if he says that, take heed, be careful, the word of God is also telling us that we have been given wisdom to decide, to think, and to know that pandemics will come, sicknesses will come, but we have to, to be careful, to take precautions so that we will not be affected. If we ourselves are not affected, we are also called upon not to affect others. So all that we are doing, putting on the face mask and the rest, is not just about ourselves, but for others. Jesus cared for others. May we also go and care for others. Be like the four good friends and lead many more to Jesus Christ. Amen.